All right, that allows us to start the sword upgrade quest, which is required to do the main Easter egg quest. Now, for this particular upgrade, what we need to do, as you can see probably now, um, let's go through here first. You can see there's like uh, some symbols around here. We got some skulls. So what we need to do is we need to teleport out here using these porter nades. And we need to basically check out the symbol in the middle of this tower here. So we know that that one's like the three lines with the three dots. Let's try and find that one here. Alright, there it is there. So we just have to move this skull. It always lands here. You can knife them to move them around the circle. And you basically you just match up the skulls with the symbols. It's pretty basic. This one here is like the... What would you call that? Like a hook thing with two circles. I don't know exactly how you would describe that one, but... It must be on the other side. Here, there it is there. Okay. So to move the skulls across, this can be confusing at first, but you basically stand on the skull you want to move and then you shoot across to the, the other side. Easy as that. And you can even do it um, between the same side ones. <laughs> Talking is hard. All right. Okay. That's like a two-headed man with a little third leg or whatever that is. Okay. There it is there. Let's... Move that across there, and we got, I think we got one more, which is this one here. Fortunately, we don't have any, uh, fast zombies harassing us while we're doing this. Alright, last one is the two-finger thing, I don't know. Uh, alright, now, where's that one? Have I missed something up? That, isn't that it there? It's already on the right one. What have I messed up? I, uh, is that three fingers? Uh, that's the right one. We definitely saw that one before. It's, it's that one there. Am I going crazy? Okay, that's not right though. Let's move this one over. I don't know how it got on that one. I don't remember putting it on that one. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, that's complete. That's matched them all up with the symbols. Right, now we want to do, we got these two pink balls and what we need to do is need to kill a zombie let's just kill these guys because it's going to take forever for them to crawl up here don't have time for that we'll do a mid round just to speed things along here yeah but basically you kill a zombie uh, next to each of these pink balls they'll move around the map a few times and then when you get them done um, you can move on to the next part of the easter egg now, round eight. Things could get... We could get a boss spawning in this round, I think. So we have to be a little bit careful and keep an eye out for that. Let's just clear out some of these. I'm going to need some more points anyway. So we might as well kill off these first few zombies. You kind of get trapped down here if... Um, <clears throat> if all the zombies are spawning in. Because you can't. the only teleporter out of here is back... Down that very narrow hallway there. Um, like I said, I have had the game game crash when I've tried to use porta nades to, to get up on the bridge from, from down here. So I, I'm not going to try that, just in case. Ouch! Yeah, zombies starting to get fast. There's a few sprinters in the mix now. Alright, they're still coming. We we gotta keep a few of these zombies alive. I don't know how many. Probably a, probably about ten of them. Ten to twelve. So we can feed the um feed their souls to the pink balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh I think we're clear now, okay. Alright. So I'm not sure what the next one is. Normally you can hear them pretty here we go. Yep. Alright, let's just wait for the zombies to get over here. They should all be behind me now. Like, if this was Black Ops 3, they'd be spawning in front of me and coming through that door, trapping me. Fortunately, it's not. It's good old World at War. Okay, I can hear another one somewhere. Where is that? Where is it? Oh, it's probably up. Probably up the stairs. Uh-oh. Okay. Easy. Easy does it. Yeah, pretty cool. They've got a lot of uh, 
really awesome assets that they've put into this um, into this map. Like obviously the sword, the um, where is that? Hmm. Not in there. Um, but there's also some really cool stuff that they put it into the game from completely different games. So. <laughs> I won't spoil it. You guys will see. Hopefully, if we get that far, or maybe, maybe if we do really well, we, we can miss, we can skip that part of it. But if we do, what I'll do is I'll maybe put a, a bit at the end of the video um, to show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, that's okay. We might be able to do this one from out here. Die, zombie! There we go. Okay, now let's see. I can hear another one. It might be. Where is it? Oh, there... oh it's respawned in the same spot. Okay, that one's done. But even though it sounds like it's completed, there's, there's another one we have to get. Because you have to do both of those pink balls. I can hear it somewhere though. It's it's nearby. The trouble is, there's like three levels here that it could be on. Where is it? It could be up top there, but let's go down. Oh, here we go. Okay, hopefully this is the last zombie soul we need on this one. Come on, zombie. Is that it? No. We... Okay, we still need to find it again. I can't even hear it now. It's probably gone up to spawn somewhere like... Oh, no. I can't hear it. There it is. Alrighty, we've still got a couple of zombies left, so it's all good. Should be able to do this step here in round eight. Um, which is good, because the next step we need to... Um, we could get done as well in this round. There we go. So that's completed. And then turns into a big pink ball. And goes back to the... Oh, goes back to the Primus room. Like, the trouble with this... Oh, there's... Okay. The trouble with these portal nades is they... They destroy the zombies and make it hard to get crawlers. Okay, we need to get this symbol. I think it's that one. Oh, was that wrong? God damn it! It was the thing with four... Spikes coming out this... Oh, it might have been that one. Bloody hell, I just saw it like... I saw it out the corner of my eye, and I thought I knew what it was, but... Oh, we're gonna max ammo. Beautiful. Basically, to explain what I'm doing, um... After you finish that step with the zombie souls, you get these, these symbols like this one right here, spawning around the map. And, um... You have to look for the one like that one that's got the pink glowy bits coming off it. And then you have to use the Ragnaroks, um... The slam on the tile that corresponds to it in the Primus room. But, like an idiot, I wasn't paying attention, and I hit the wrong one. So now we have to wait for the Ragnaroks to, re to reset. Um, and it's time, it seems to be time based. Oh no, oh my god. Oh no, oh no. Wow. Whoa. I thought I was dead right there. This is still a bit of a tricky spot to be in right here. Okay, let's try. Let's try and uh, we gotta we gotta run a train here because I can't get out of here. Um, the one problem with this map is that they do teleport it, unless you get them all behind you in a group. They will teleport through to the teleporters in front of you. Oh, I think we're good now. I think I uh, hopefully they're all behind me now. Let's just not get too far ahead. See if we can, this corridor here can be quite dangerous if they spawn through that teleporter. <laughs> like we saw. Oh man, that was crazy. I thought that was game over. Alright, anyway. Um, yeah, I was talking about the Ragnarok DG4s. Basically, um, normally in Black Ops 3, you replenish them by killing zombies, but... In this map, it's a time-based thing, I think. Oh, we got a we got a crawler. Hallelujah. Yeah, let's just finish off 
finish off most of the remaining zombies. Try and get some points out of it. Because the weapons we have right now are not going to cut it later on. We are going to have to... Um, there are some really good weapons in this map as well. Okay, we managed to get another crawler. So we got a couple of crawlers up our sleeve. Metaphorically speaking. Um, okay. So, <laughs> trouble is... We have to wait for the Ragnarok to reset before we can um, go back and hit that stupid symbol. I suppose we could uh, head up and collect some more of those rock things while we're waiting. Um, they're like three quarters done, so hopefully it won't take too long. Let's get some more nades. We're going to need those. Grab that. So got, I've nearly got 20 of those things now, which is good. Which is very good. Let's come through here. Okay, there's another one over here. Basically, you learn where they spawn if you play this map enough. It's always the same spots. Right there, 21. Let's pour some windows up, eh? We've got nothing else to do while we're waiting. Might as well get the extra points. Yeah, unfortunately you can't just pick up the Ragnaroks again to get them recharged. It doesn't work that way. Um, same with the sword. Trust me, I've tried. Let's see if there's another rock through here. Sometimes they spawn in this corner. Yes. Alrighty. Yeah, um... I should probably, like, acknowledge the fact that I haven't uploaded anything to my channel for a, for a number of weeks, guys. Some of you, like, there's a handful of people that watch my videos have been really, really good and supportive. Um, I've been uploading probably most regularly to my survival channel. It's the Presume Survival. From seven days to die which I've um, had recorded for a while but I don't know guys <clears throat> I've just not been feeling motivated I don't know what it is um, around the time Black Ops 3 I really lost motivation um, I don't know if, it, if it's like the YouTube algorithm changes or just a lack of support on my channel um, any of you guys watching this it's not your fault at all but um, I mean, when you've got 100,000 subscribers on your channel and you're only getting a few hundred views on your uh, recent videos, it's, uh, it's quite, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of um, disappointing. And, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're uploading stuff and, and you're like keen to see what other people think of your gameplay and stuff like that, or your videos or your tutorials or whatever, it's kind of disappointing when that happens, and, and I, f I found I lost a lot of motivation. Um, I've been playing a lot of other games as well. Okay, let's try and get the right symbol this time. <laughs> Where was it? Not that one. Definitely not that one with the jagged lines. We want the one It was over here. This one here. Okay. Let's make sure we're standing in the middle. A boom! Now, the beauty of it is, if you get the right tile... Um, it, uh, instantly recharges the Ragnaroks, so, uh, there's no painful waiting between symbols, but there is a lot of painful wandering around looking for symbols to make up for that, so we just have to find the ones with the glowy, the glowy bits around the map. Um, and, yeah, it's a very big map, so <laughs> we, we have to hope we get lucky. Otherwise, we could be, like, doing a lot of Ks, trying to find the right one. But, yeah, getting back to what I was saying, um, I want to keep uploading regularly, but the other the other thing, and this is, like, another, another problem, which has also been frustrating for me on my channel, is I don't know if it's my internet connection or if it's the fact that I've got a new PC, and maybe my settings have changed so that uh, my videos are higher quality or larger file size. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is. And I just can't be bothered, like, getting to the bottom of it, to be honest. But 
it's taking like three times as long to upload my videos. Like a normal 20 minute video, I used to be able to upload daily. Like I would put it, put it on upload um, when I went to bed and basically go to work sometime in the afternoon. It would usually be finished, right? Done, just like that. Still looking for this sim. By the way, it's here somewhere. It's got to be. We've, we've gone the whole length of the map here. Ah, there it is. Okay, that's the, the one that looks like a star with the curvy bits. I've got little nicknames that I call these symbols. Helps me remember what they look like. Let's go back. Let's go back to the dungeon. Slam this one. Let's just feed the zombie. But uh, anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Basically, now it seems like a 20 minute video for me. And even with the same like 1080p quality, um, takes three days i'm not joking like when i get home from work it's still going so like i have to stop it because i've got stuff to do on the internet and whatnot or, or playing even if it's just playing games or whatever you know emailing stuff like that um <laughs> then start start over when i go to bed so it's taking like three times as long to upload videos which slows things down a lot and that's quite frustrating i don't know i guess i'm gonna have to get to the bottom of that and sort it out um Either call my internet provider. I think this is the right one. Boom. All right. I don't know how many of these symbols we have to find, but I think it's about five or six. Quite a lot. Let's just check the usual symbols. <laughs> the usual, the usual route I go. Make sure we uh, check all of these up there. So yeah, com combination of losing a little bit of motivation, um, playing other games like I've been playing, um, mainly I've been playing Elder Scrolls Online to be honest guys, and I know that's not what a lot of you guys want to see me uploading on my channel. Um, by the way, I'm going to be starting a new series, <laughs> a new character, uh, but I'll be uploading that to my um, Slippy Gym RPG channel eventually. Um, cause my current, my current series on Elder Scrolls Online is like really, really old. Um, but I kind of want to keep uploading it so that it's completed. Okay, here's our next symbol. See if we can get, get down here as a shortcut. Um, that's like the one with the five lines along the top. Yeah, but I've been playing a ton of Elder Scrolls Online. Like, if any of you guys really got into Skyrim, um, basically imagine Skyrim, but with the whole of Tamriel, not just the Skyrim section. Um, Skyrim is just one little section of the map in Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, did we get that one? Yep, alright. Looks like we're still going. We've got some more symbols to collect here. Um, yes, yeah, Skyrim is in Elder Scrolls Online, but it's like a, it's, it's like just a tiny part of the whole of Tamriel, which is in the game. And, um, yeah, and there's other players. There's PvP, which is pretty awesome, where you're like, literally, you're like, there's a massive, massive area. Um, Cyrodiil. Okay, that's our next one. That's like a triangular sort of thing with little dots in the corner. That's kind of a hard one to put into a word picture uh, yeah the PvP is awesome in Elder Scrolls Online like uh, where is it where is it uh, is that it there they look slightly different on these tiles uh, oh it's this one yeah this one here all right so, we upgraded our sword, guys, to the Gates of Hell. This awesome-looking fluoro pink number. And uh, this has a really cool attack, which I'll show you guys. We might actually test it out on one of our crawlers here. 